wicketkeeper Wakar Yunus, Mushtaq Ahmed and Akib Javed. The UAE team, Salim Raza, Ganesh, Azhar Saeed, Mazhar Hussain. The helicopter right on top of it and it stayed there just as long as he wanted it to. It was just fantastic to watch it. Another appeal this time and that one moved again into the batsman. So it will be Salim facing. Inside edge, it's going to be four runs. That must have missed the off stump. And that's a lovely shot. It's going to be six. And it is. Beautiful. That's a fine shot. And it's going to be four runs. Sharjah, the best bowling figures in all one day international cricket. And that's up in the air. There is a fielder which is Javed Mianad getting under it and he's caught it. So the first one. leg up, dropped Javed Mianad back at mid on. He went all the way back. He had to come in to take the catch. But old Javed, he's pretty cunning and he sized it up very quickly. And there was never a problem there, taken very comfortably indeed. So that bright and breezy innings from Raza is over. He's gone for 22, it's 27 for one. In trouble. And that's over the heads of the slip fielder, which is in Zamam. Get out, get out. they go. Oh, here's another mix-up. He's going to be out, out by a mile. And that misunderstanding. Just pushed out there on the offside, really, into the covers. Raza came down the wicket and got sent back. He's left in no man's land, and Rashid Latif, well, he demolished that uh, wicket there. And the batsman there, Saeed, he's not very happy about that, and quite rightly so, too. So he's been. Oh. Him. Beautiful delivery from Mushta. And he got it up in the air. Yes, certainly, certainly came back the other way. Middle stump goes. And so Ganesh is gone. He's been out there a long time, actually. Fifth. Quicker one, and he gets the outside edge. It's going to be four runs to the third man boundary. Javed Miyadat will not cut it off. 53. Oh, oh. And he's gone. Played on. Must have gotten inside edge. And wrong and again. And this one takes Midland leg. Appreciable spin there. Absolutely no idea, the batsman. And right on target. Back goes middle stump again. So the UAE are 50. It's up in the air, he could be out caught, and he's gone. Mushtaq. Get to the pitch of the ball, but he wasn't able to get the timing. I think the turn there just took it towards the outside edge of the bat. Didn't get full timing onto it. Lifted it down to long off. And there, Waka Yunus. Well, it's not copybook stuff, but it's effective. So, Mazar has it done. That's a fine shot. It's going to be four runs to the extra cover boundary. And the slash upish past the outstretched hand of Ijaz, and it's going to be four runs to the backward point boundary. And that's up in the air. There is a fielder getting under it, and he's out caught by Ijaz. And up goes the crowd. One that leaves the right hander, bowling the in swinger throughout the over. This one leaving the right hander, not getting the timing to it. The end of the bat, ballooning away on the offside, and Ijaz Ahmed. He's as safe as a house underneath that. So Laik goes for nine. Oh, that's just away from the fieldsman. Fell very awkwardly, just in front and to think. That's slower, and it's bowling. Beautifully bowled. Slower ball. It's got up there. Bit of an inside edge that helped the ball onto the stumps. It really, I see Macrami has every reason to be pleased with that. So Mohammed. Over the top, well hit. Sali Malik has the chase. And he may struggle to get it. That's well played, four runs. It's a straight boundary. This is an enormous hit. I think this is over the top. Yes, it is. Six more. That's it. 100 is up. Bowling. Spectacular. Middle stuff, clean out of the ground. Run up three-quarter. Well, it was just dead straight. It didn't really do too much. Maybe a bit of an angle in. Samara Sakura there, just done for pace. So he goes, 108. The match. Well, that's bowling. And the self now, again, right at the base of the off stump. So very full in delivery, and looks as like if he was done for pace, Sarawani. Last ball of the innings. 
And a maiden over to finish from Wasi Makram. Live to see another day and see if they can beat some of the smaller sides having taken on the best already. But impressive figures for Pakistan. Excellent, in fact. Wasim Akram, 2 for 25. But Mustak Ahmed, 3. So he's got him away down to uh, the final leg boundary forearms. Bowled in! Clean bowl! The off stump knocked out of the ground. Came out there and got rid of Sahail. Just did a little bit too and uh, held its line. Just started to come back into the batsman and Sahail. I'm sure he's disappointed with that because he would have wanted to cash in out there as I'm sure Saeed Anwar and the... Short and uh, Paul to mid-wicket for us. Beautifully played. And that's going to be four. Richard was talking about the square cut and that. Beautiful shot past mid-off. And that could be four runs because the outfield has quickened up and flicked back just inside the boundary. That's beautifully played. That's the most decisive shot we've seen from Saeed Anwar. That's beautifully stroked away. Fairly slow outfield, it might struggle to get there. But the batsman will have time for three. Oh, that slipped past the fieldsman. That should go all the way. Well... He's certainly getting some turn, but again he's very wide. And that's well played by Ejaz. And four runs. Well, that might have been the wrong one. Looked as though it came back. Misfielding. And the misfielding is possible. That's through the field. That's a lovely shot. And that's a six. Into the stand it goes, sword hard and high, and that's victory for Pakistan. It's gone for four over long on, 112 for... It's bowling attack at the end of the day, but it's a good start for Pakistan, no doubt about that. And 40 respectively, not out, and just 18 overs, so very impressive stuff by Pakistan.